Hey y'all, it's Jess again and today I'm actually pretty excited. I am going to be going through my Ipsy Glam bag with you guys. If you guys are unaware of what Ipsy is, it is a beauty subscription. Um, it's a monthly subscription. Um, I just have the basic subscription. I just have fun getting the bags and wanted to share them with you guys. Alright lovelies. Um, I highly doubt you don't get full size items in here so I'm going to go ahead and put my the foundation on and we will get into this bag. Alright you guys, so my foundation's down, my concealer's down right now, I'm baking. Let's just get right into this bag you guys, this is my February glam bag, I'm so sorry it's posting so late. <laughs> okay, alright, so this is on top. This is a five minute facial mask. It looks like from the <clears throat> brand Biobel. If I had known there was a primer mask in here, I would not have already put on primer and foundation in the whole bit. Free oil, rose hip, rose hip extract, and vitamin C. So this isn't bad. Um, I'm going to have to give this a try. I love sheet masks. So maybe a sheet mask primer would be cool. I don't know. But I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of intrigued. I'm intrigued. Let's get right on into the actual Ipsy bag. So we have like a um, <clears throat> pinky nude bag. Very um, February vibes. Valentine's Day with some lace. Open up. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So we have all of these beauties. And it's just the unzipped is the February campaign from Ipsy. I love how they have so much diversity. First thing in my Ipsy bag is, oh gosh, I can't get it out. There we go. A Luxie brush, little dual end brush. Let's see what kind. Can y'all see that? The Luxie brush. It looks like a fluffy crease brush and a little smaller packer brush. And I love these little, it's so soft. I love these little brushes that we get in subscription bags and boxes and everything else. Y'all know I do BoxyCharm as well. I'll link that video down below for you guys, the February BoxyCharm. Okay, so it's the Pacifica Beach Crystals. Can you the Pacifica Beach Crystals Natural Mineral Eyeshadows. They are 100% vegan and cruelty free, which is really, really cool. Why can't I get into this? Scissors are always a good thing. They make it impossible. Ouch. Let me just cut my Pacifica Beach. So it's like a uh, kind of a nude palette. They have like a, um, let's just swatch. I'm probably going to, what? Alright guys, I finally got into this. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Pacifica palette. Um, it has like a bronzy color here, a darker brown, um, a more like, I don't know, dusty brown, a more drop of everything. No one uses these little thingamajigs, I feel like. Toss that somewhere. So yeah, you have like a pink here, a pink here, and then like the lavender. I'm gonna do something with the lavender. I love that. Um, and then kind of a purple between a brown and a purple. Does that make sense? Like a, I don't know, a mauve kind of color. Let's just take this pinkier color here. A little bit more shimmer than I would want. Maybe not for a base color. You know what I mean? So these are like super, super shiny. I don't know. Really, I did not just like screw up this eye look. Oh my god, let me just go reversed. Alright. So that shade is down. <sighs> I don't know how I feel. I'm really, um, mm, let's go into another shade and see. I need to use the same little thing and go into this little brown here and maybe kind of warm it up a little bit in that outer V area. I'm just going to go into this second shade right here. Work it in right there. These are all shimmers. Like, they're all shimmers. Keep rolling with it and hopes that it doesn't get too bad. There is quite a bit of fallout so I am kind of glad that I've kept that bake on there. Okay, I can kind of deal with that a little bit more than just that light pinky shade. Okay, 
I think I'm actually going to tap into my Stila. Alright guys, so since I skipped out on Ballet Baby in one of my past videos, I'm going to use Ballet Baby right now. It is the Stila Magnificent Metals. It's just a pinkier, kind of like bright shade. Alright guys, so I have done a lot of bold looks on my YouTube channel <laughs> so far, so I wanted to do something a little bit more wearable for every day. This is literally just a very light, minimalistic makeup look we are going for today. Upon doing my eyeshadow, I will have to say that I do like these shades. Let's let's just swatch them for you guys. So that's like the bronzy shade. These aren't super pigmented, but they're not bad. They're very much like a kind of more, um, if you're into the more minimalistic type of thing, but you still want that depth, these shades would definitely be there for you. They do have like a sheen to them though. Um, and I like more matte transition shades. Probably won't pick this up very often just because I go for more of a, an obvious like really nice makeup look that's a little bit bolder. This is very minimalistic but if I'm going for like a no makeup makeup day type of a feel this would be a really good palette to have on hand. I got like halfway through already done mascara brows the whole nine yards and forgot to finish swatches so that's why my face is kind of done. <laughs> Let's do this third shade for y'all. Oh, and that one just kind of falls flat. It's kind of like a, a mauve purple color. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I really love the lavender shade. And for that last shade, I don't even know if you guys can see that pink. The pink is what I have on my eyes, though. I feel like I really have to dig in there to get that pink out, though. It's just not much color payoff. If you're looking for something really highly pigmented, you're going to be disappointed. Because I was a little bit disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Like on the pigment side of things, I was disappointed. Alright y'all, so the next thing in the Ipsy bag is this... I've never heard of Mellow. Okay. It says it's paraben free, no animal testing, recyclable, torn on yards. It is Mellow Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lip Paint in the shade Tehran. Alright. That's the applicator right there, that little doe foot applicator. Oh, it's brown. I don't know. I don't know, this is just patchy to me. This color is not my shade. Like I don't I don't really go for this kind of like um brownie nude, darker. I mean overall on the lips it feels really, really good. Um, as far as a liquid lip goes, but this, this color is definitely not for me. This last product is a Mark Anthony Strengthening Grow Long Leave-In Conditioner. I've been pretty stuck on my Living Proof Mask and my Brio Geo. Where does it smell? That's a really the big thing here. So. <gasps> Ooh, is it comes out at me? Oh. I really, uh, I don't like how that smells. So overall, y'all, this Ipsy bag to me was just, I wouldn't necessarily call it a flop, um, but this is not what I would ever do to myself. Like, this is a, a, not a look I would usually go for, and it's definitely not a lip color I would go for, because I'm just, it's, it's not doing it for me. I don't, I love this brush. This might be the thing for you if you like minimalist, but I just, the swatches have been sitting there for a minute and there there's a sheen to all of them, so you don't really have like a true matte shade. That little mauve color doesn't have as, as much, but it's not one I would put in my crease. Like I don't, the primer, the facial mask, let me know below if you guys have used it. As I think sheet mask, I think like hydration, like after I've taken my makeup off for the day and I want like a refresh into my skin before the next day. I don't think, oh let me do this before I slap on a bunch of makeup on my face. 
thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for dropping by. I really do appreciate you guys. If you like this sort of a video and you want to see more of these Ipsy videos, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoy seeing me unbag all of my Ipsy stuff from this. I, I love this packaging. It literally feels like a party. I don't know. So anyway, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. To all you newcomers, thank y'all too. Y'all are awesome. Let me just pull my hair. Whatever. Thank y'all for coming out. Hit that big red button for me, that subscribe button. Y'all know you want to push my buttons. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.